So this segment takes place in Tucson, Arizona. Um, throughout this segment, I focused on meeting new people just because there's a lot of really cool people out here. Um, doing a lot of photo and video, biking and lifting, and creating a work schedule and following that in detail. Um, I basically set up camp in Tucson right away in this public land area called Snyder Hill. Snyder Hill is awesome for multiple reasons, but one, just it was really chill and easy to have open fires, you could get a signal and work, and um, the second one was there's a lot of really cool people that I just happened to run into. Especially when, uh, you know, people build, build them out or convert them, you know, what, what people decide. You know, One couple really stood out, uh, and they're this older couple named Hal and Jeannie who had built this crazy trailer, um, and they actually invited me to supper one night and had some beer and really good conversations. A few days in, I kind of had to reorganize things with the van, so that meant doing some laundry. I had to go to the gas station and refill my propane for my heater and fill up my water supply. It was around this point when I kind of got freaked out because there was a mechanical issue with my engine coolant light that I had to take to a mechanic. And they were able to look at it pretty quickly. I dropped it off and ate some food, um, played some guitar, and practiced my Spanish at Starbucks. Uh, and then I got a call from them, went back, and thank God there was no serious issue. It was just a part and time that cost me about $150. So after that scare, I wanted to get into a routine with work and exercise. And that night I discovered an awesome trail called Sweetwater. Okay, it looks cool open. <laughs> I'll put your guys' uh... And then it was quickly the weekend where I happened to go back to the trailhead and see that there was this awesome Pivot Cycles demo event where I got to demo some great bikes and once again meet some really cool people. I took, you know, 15 seats, right? I got really lucky and was able to use two of the body bolts for the seat rails. Okay. And then these two bolts in the back. Queen size bed. Nice. Yeah, it looks, it looks comfortable up there. Okay. So I could throw it in my pack and ride and have it follow me. But when I throw That'd it in the pack, cool. all of a sudden it's doing all these crazy things. And looking all so after that weekend, I kind of just spent a few days working in cafes and exploring Tucson proper a little bit more. And then I happened to hear on the radio that there was going to be this festival called Gem and Jam. And a guy at my site who called himself Sandwich told me it was something that you shouldn't miss. So I stuck around a few more days and finished out this this segment at Gem and Jam. Gem and Jam was really cool. I got to meet a lot of cool people. Um, one guy that really stood out was Shiloka. 
the Magic Bus. Um, he used to be a photographer um, in Europe and it was very artistic and it was cool. I took shots of tequila with him and just had some good conversation. <laughs> Um, and then I also What's up, Ripple? ran into a few puppies who were really adorable. And then I just got to see a few bands that I really enjoy, like um, Railroad Earth. Emancipator. And STS-9. Hey guys, so for this week's reflections, there wasn't anything that really, really stood out to discuss, um, but one thing that has been on my mind is just the importance of interests. And I say that because I was listening to the Joe Rogan podcast, and um, actually it was Steve Ranella's podcast, and he had Joe Rogan on. And they were talking about how Joe just came into this uh, passion of bow hunting like he had with things like pool in the past and he really became obsessed with bow hunting and I've heard Joe talk about that on his podcast before like with jujitsu how it's an obsession and it keeps him going in life and how if he could live for a thousand years he would want to because he can get interested in so many things um, because it's kind of like a flow state where you're involved in these things and you forget about other parts of your life and you're really just in the zone and you're captivated by it and I think everyone's not going to be the same like everyone's not going to have a lot of interest obviously um, but I do think it's important to have some interests that take up a part of each day um, and I think if you don't then you could get unhappy and I think in order to if, if you happen to be like in that boat which I mean I fall into it sometimes I just get kind of lazy and don't force myself to do things um, but if you get into that situation I think you have to put yourself in different situations listen to different podcasts um, watch different YouTube channels and you'll be I think you'll be surprised what can spark an interest in you I mean, for me, I was a vegetarian maybe like a year ago for two months, but hearing different people talk about hunting, specifically tracking down elk, that sparked a really big interest in me. And I don't know why, but it just did. Um, and I don't hunt now, but like that's just an example of something that I wouldn't expect to be interested in that I did just happen to become interested in. And when I get that interest, I get motivated to really get shit done in life. Um, so the reflections for this week, wait for this car to go past. I guess I can close with, uh, make sure you're putting yourself in situations where you might discover new interests that can move you positively forward in life uh, because it's important to find things that you're not used to and explore those. Uh, thanks for watching this episode this week, guys. I'm kind of messing around with the format of how I'm going to be doing these. Uh, if you if you like a certain format, uh, just let me know in the comments. Again, this channel's just getting started, so anyone who can subscribe, that's so appreciated. Uh, and if you want to follow along my journeys more in detail, you can follow my personal or creative Instagram, which I'll put in the link below. Peace, guys.